And now for the face on the tap room floor, Jack Benny. Well, well, that was certainly a nice introduction. You know, Wilson, as an announcer, you're about as useful as an umbrella to a flounder. That's all right, Jack. I can take it. But I know some pretty swell affairs that have been run off without master of ceremonies. Oh, you do, eh? Yes. Say, uh, what is a master of ceremonies anyway? Well, a uh, master of ceremonies is a fellow that's handsome, dresses well, yeah. knows a lot of good jokes, and is generally cute. Oh. You're not at all conceited, are you? No, I'm not. I'm not a bit egotistical. In fact, I'm much better looking than I think I am. Sure. <laughs> Anyway, Wilson, I think there should be less announcers on programs and more masters of ceremonies. Yes, there should be more masters in the cold, cold ground. That's all right. That's, I can take it. What am I burning up, folks? Right now, you could fry eggs on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a nice order of ham and eggs. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I want to know. Take off your glasses, Wilson. What? I said take off your glasses. I don't care if you are six foot two. Okay. Well, the glasses are off. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. I just wanted to see if you had blue eyes. That's all. <laughs> well, listen, Benny. Just a word for your own protection. You know, I was once heavyweight champion of California. Remember that. Well, I can fight, too. You ever hear of Carnera? Yes. Well, who didn't? Big smart Alex. And another thing. One more word out of you, and I'll take that nose of yours and put it around the back of your head. Mm -hmm. Just as I thought. So long. <laughs> he thought I was going to answer him. <laughs> He'd have said one more word, I'd have cleaned up the studio with him. What's that? I said the studio needs cleaning up. That's what I said. That kind of stuff. Well, is he gone? Yes, Jack. I guess he knows what's good for him. Hello, Jack. Hello, Mary. What's the matter? Your face is white and you're trembling. Oh, nothing, Mary. I had a little argument with Don Wilson, and I had to tell him where he got off, that's all. What happened? Nothing. I just asked him to take off his glasses, and he wouldn't, so I pasted him. He went down like a log. Who, the paste? No, Wilson. <laughs> Then he got up and made a pass at me, but when I got through with him, his face looked like a New England boiled dinner. Then he gets sore, Mary, and pulls a knife on me. <laughs> the little cut-up. Yeah. It's a good thing I held my temper. After all, he has a family and has work to do, you know. Oh, Jack, here comes Wilson back again. Don't mention anything I said, Mary. It might embarrass him. You know. After all, we're on the same program. See you later, you know. Hello, Mary. Oh, hello, Mr. Wilson. Uh, where's your crutches? Crutches? Yeah. See, you don't look a bit like a New England boiled dinner. What in the world are you talking about? Well, weren't you in an accident or something? Certainly not, Mary. Gee, didn't Jack Benny, uh, uh you know. I don't understand. Uh, can you still do your work? Of course, Mary. Listen, the general tire minimizes road and car track bumps. It's blowout proof, runs on 40% less air, and can be bought at your own general tire dealer. Uh, what else did Jack do to you? Hey, Bester. Bester. Oh, Baxter. Yes, Jack. Where are you? Behind the piano. Play, Don.
Oh, pardon me. I was just talking to some friends of mine. Oh, well, Jack, I want to tell you that I'm sorry for the way that I acted when the program first started tonight. Oh, that's all right, John. You know, those arguments help to kill time. It's all good material. You know. But why the remorse? Oh, I don't know. I was just thinking of Mother's Day and Frank Parker just saying love by neighbor and all the whole thing just got me. Yep, it does bring the old Adam's apple up, doesn't it? Yeah, I wish I didn't live so far from home. You know, Jack, I'd, I'd like to bring you out to the house with me for the weekend. The folks all know you, listen to your broadcasts, and oh, I'm sure that you'll have a nice rest and some home-cooked food. Well, that sounds good, Don. Where do you live? In the Bronx, just a short walk from the last subway stop. Well, I'm <laughs> sorry, Don. I haven't anything with me. You know, no shaving outfit or anything. Oh, right? we've got everything there for you. Come on, I won't take no for an answer. Well, all right. After all, I like home cooking, and I certainly need a rest. Uh, when do you want to go? Right now. Come on. All right. It's okay with me. You know? uh, hey, hey, Buster, play something. Jack's coming home with me for the weekend. Okay. Uh, shall we take the subway down? Yes, and then it's just a few minutes' walk from there. All the fresh air will do us good. Okay, kid. So long, fellas. <laughs> Subway ride down, huh? Thought we'd never get here. Well, Jack, it won't be long now, and this walk will do us good. How far is it? Oh, about six minutes as the crow flies. Well, that's all right if you happen to be a crow, but my feet hurt, you know? Gee, <laughs> it's quiet out this way, isn't it? Oh, yes, but you can sleep like a top. <laughs> Gee, it's... <laughs> Gee, it's certainly dark out this way. Oh, you aren't afraid, are you? No, but... Oh, 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 who's this? Looks like a stranger to me. Stick him up. Stick him up, 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 I say. Hmm, the weekend is starting nice. <laughs> One squawk out of you and your goose is cooked. He thinks I'm Joe Penner. You know? Quiet, Jack. Quiet, Jack. Quiet, quiet. He means business. Come on, you big fella. Hand over your dough. Oh, I'm sorry, but I haven't anything with me. How about you? I'm sorry, but... Oh, yeah? All right, here. What's it on your finger? A wart. <laughs> oh, a wart, eh? Well, it's shining pretty bright. You mean this ring? Just a cheap ring I got on a merry-go-round. 
Can I keep it? No, I'll take the ring. You can keep the merry-go-round. <laughs> well, that's fair. I'll beat it. Go on, both of you. M is for the money that he asked for. O is for the things that I have left. Hey, Jack, you should have left your dough at the studio with Bester. It's a fine time to tell me. <clears throat> oh, there's the house over there. See the light shining in the window? See, that's fine. Let's run. I still got my watch, you know. <laughs> well, well, here's the house. Follow me across the lawn. Gee, it certainly is dark. Ow! Gee whiz. Oh, you tripped over the lawnmower, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Well, here we are. Now, I'll ring the bell. Mother will sure be surprised. Who's there? Hello, Ma. It's Don. Well, well, this is a surprise. How are you, my son? Oh, fine. Gee, you're looking well, Ma. Come in, come in. Who's that with you? Oh, this is Jack Benny. Who? Benny. What's the last name? Just call me Rudy. <laughs> Here, Mother, I brought you $100 for a present. I wonder where it was when we were held up. Thank you, son. And, Ma, I brought you a package, too.